about to start the fourth and final quarter between the Adriana Chiefs and the CSB Blazers. Blazers leading by as many as nine points, but this Adriano team refusing, refusing to be left behind. Magandang hapon po mga kapamilya. Miko Halili kasama si Danica Jose. And Danica, what do you expect to see in this fourth and final quarter? Well, for sure, lalo na for the first, for the last quarter, gagamitin na nila si Justin Gutang and Balkel Calniete. And they just need to take care of their fouls because they're much needed here in the last quarter. Delica fires away. Fourth personal foul picked up by Carlo Yak. Now, in light of the uh, most recent developments in the league uh, pertaining to the uh, sanction meted out on San Sebastian. Baka magulat ka kasi kayo, when you, when you watch the games and makita niyo mga updated team standings, San Sebastian uh, is now down to 1-8 in the team standings and that has had an impact on these two teams playing right now. Kasi parang nangyari, biglang, biglang nabawasan ng isang team doon sa mga sisikan for possibly the third or fourth spot uh, in that Final Four race. So, Arellano at 3-3, three three, CSB at 4-3. The Knights are at 4 2. They'll be playing later against the Pirates. The Altas are at 5 and 2. My Lemo, you know, the EEC Generals could start a winning run at 2 and 5. Dami nila in the middle of the Right, pack. right. I mean, what's very clear right now, top two teams, the, the two undefeated teams right now in the tournament, the Lazio Pirates, who are playing later at 7 and 0, oh, and the Sanbera Red Lions, who uh, uh, are, also, uh, are also undefeated. James Pastoran, Carlos, Carlos for three, and a rebound for uh, Manu Codinera. But uh, Young with a steal and a lob pass to Bellica. Hendricks! That was a good look by Carlos, recognizing his big man who was open for that easy two. And Segura. Viloria. And somebody was caught in a no parking zone turnover against the Chiefs. Now is Sarah Joseph, very energetic. Now is Sarah Joseph back in the ball game for the Arellano Chiefs. Pastorad, Hendricks Belica, Ritz Carlos, Carla Young, and Edward Dixon on the floor for. CSB, Craniel Viloria, Maui Sir Joseph, Ongolo Ongolo, Ian Alban, and Ken Segura on the floor for the Chiefs. Sir Joseph misses the three, gets his own miss, misses again. And then Ongolo Ongolo is right there for the putback. You see Maui Sir Joseph, how aggressive he is as a player. Pagkatira niya, alam niya, pag hindi pumasok, he will just dive and get, for that, get that rebound. Positive energy will get you positive results. Carlo Young pulling up and very relaxed shot Carlo for Young. Carlo Young. He has three points in the ball game. Viloria pulling up. No go. Pastoran secures the rebound. Hand over to Belica for two. It's a good thing that Belica was running his lane. Kasi alam niya mapapasahan pa siya when their guards were drawing the defender. Less than seven minutes remaining in the ball game. And Maui Sarah Joseph now with eight points today. Mariano Chief. Really know how to attack the press of the Blazers. Alam niya na tumatrap sila, so may mali libre isa kaya they're taking advantage of that kaya nagilibre. Si Maui Sir Joseph. 
Free throw for Maui Sarah Joseph. Completes a three point play. So they cut down that Blazers lead to six points. Yankee Haruna. Drop pass, Edward Dixon for two. I think that's the advantage if you know your big man is running his lane. You have the option to draw the defender and give the drop pass or take it strong to the basket and wait for your big man to rebound. The bonus free throw for Edward Dixon. He could not complete the three-point play. Eight-point ball game para sa Blazers. Miloria sending Sarah Joseph to the right side. Alcoriza to Viloria, Viloria outside De La Cruz, touch pass to Sarah Joseph. Sarah Joseph gets his own miss. Sarah Joseph <laughs> forces his way for the basket as we go back to Roxanne Monte Alegre. For the, this last stretch of the game, na hindi gurado ang uh, stellar coaching staff ng CSP. Na kailangan nila mag-focus sa mga details. Coach Charles Hugh is focusing on uh, to keep their offense flowing. Samantala si Coach T.Y. Tang naman eh, para hindi mag-collapse ang kanyang depensa. At Coach Ali Peek din, para naman sa mga big men nila na gawin tama ang kanilang mga desisyon inside the court. But on the other side, kay Coach Jericho Daniero, known also as the defense minister during his days, hindi lang defense. Hindi lang depensa ang kanilang gustong makita dito sa uh, last few stretch na ito. Gusto nyo lang, gusto nyo makita yung mga players niya ay matuto sa bawat galaw nila dahil aminado siya that they are a work in progress. Pero bila niya dito, trust in the process and hindi pa tapos ang laban. Don't quit, don't give up. Let's see what how we can fight the Blazers. Nico? Well, you know, Roxanne, nobody is quitting on both sides. Uh, Four-point game here. Blazers are on top of the Chiefs, are making things happen here in the fourth period. Wow, Reds Alcoriza with a rebound, but his shot was erased by Haruna. Sarah Joseph from the corner. And Justin Guta fires a pass to Haruna. Haruna will score. for the Ariliano Chiefs, sila when Maui Sarah Joseph made that run. Oh, and Michael Cañete with a smooth move uh, to the hoop. So you two players were in foul trouble. They don't care anymore. With five minutes to go, Cañete is in the game. Gutak is in the game. Gutak fires. And Gutak will miss. Gutak again. He misses again. And a block by Sir Joseph. What action here in the fourth. Carlo Young. Hard time move. Excellent drive. Six-point ball game for the Blazers with under five minutes to go in the fourth and final quarter. Cañete, no travel. The Ariana Chief has 16 offensive rebounds already, whereas the Blazers has 12. You see Michael Cañete taking that, that basket. That smooth, drive, smooth, smooth move. drive. No, 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 I'm going to go drive me out. Swab me. And you know, he doesn't have to swab it because he is nursing four personal fouls. Yes. We still have uh, four minutes, over four minutes remaining in the fourth. And Guta, Guta gets away. But the really leadership of Guta and Cañete, they're trying to dominate and lead this team. What a spin move! Oh! Red Alcoriza with a spinning getaway. Keep the Chiefs within six points. It's a good thing that the Ariana Chiefs were recognizing the open man. See Renz Alcoriza taking it strong, and that was an easy drop step for him because Elam Nyo won't help the big man. 11 points for Renz Alcoriza. Six point ball game para sa Blazers. Guta, handoff, Dixon. Dixon is fouled. That was a good look by Justin Butang. Third personal foul against uh, Archie Concepcion. 
he knew that uh, Edward Dixon was cutting and there was a driving lane for him kaya nakuha niya yung foul Edward Dixon missing the first of uh, two free throws Finally, knocks down that uh, that free throw. Mr. Dax Castellano on the right, management committee of the College of a member of the management committee of the College of Saint Denil. In the meantime, Maui Sir Joseph, that shot goes in and out. Furious battle for the basketball. Realities are really trying to dominate those boards in order for them to secure this game. That's the uh, Gutam's numbers uh, today. 15 points, 60% of the field. Six rebounds, two assists. His problem is his four fouls. That's the thing that he has to manage in the last three and 36 of this game. Cañete also has the same problem. Four personal fouls. Missing that time. Sarah Joseph to Alcoriza. Nine to shoot. Para sa Chiefs. They're down by seven points. Concepcion. Three seconds to shoot. Concepcion with a drive. Nowhere to go. And the shot clock expires. Actually, they were looking for a better shot selection. Pero yun nga. Kinulang sila sa oras. Kaya dapat um, drive na lang ngayon para nakaroon pa sila ng attempt. For both leaders, Michael Cañete and Justin Glutang, they have to stay out of trouble, lalo na last few minutes of the ball game na to. Which is tough, uh, considering uh, uh, ang bangis ng mga labanan for loose balls uh, here in the remaining moments of the fourth quarter. Masturan to Gutang. Gutang with uh, the bounce pass to Dixon, and that will be last touch on Edward Dixon. Nabasa na ng Arellano Chiefs na hinahanap nila si Edward Dixon for the role. And you'll see... Perfect anticipation ni Archie Concepcion on that play. He knew na yung pocket pass niya was very easy for the guard. Back to live action, Levy de la Cruz. He's been quiet today. Pasa kay Alcoriza for three. And rebound for Gutam. Loose ball picked up by Pastoral. So for the perimeter points, the Blazers have 23 already. For the Ariane Chiefs, they only have 8. As Pastoran goes inside, rebound for Concepcion. Pass to Alcoriza, and Alcoriza is pushed by Unique Naboa. Points in the paint, you'll see Ariane Chiefs has 34. And they're also making their free throws. They have 17 out of 23. So, regardless saan sila kumuha ng puntos, kahit sa free throw, it's very crucial for them to make them stay in the game. Nick Naboa committing the foul. Ian Alban back in the ball game for uh, the Arellano Chiefs. We are approaching the last two minutes of the fourth quarter. Nag-aapol pa rin ang Arellano Chiefs. But Renz Alcoriza hits a three-point shot and all of a sudden, it's just a four-point game. Alcoriza with 14 points. That was a much-needed three from the Aureliano Chiefs. Alcoriza is making sure that they're still in the game. Lalo na, there are still two, mi there are still two minutes remaining. We're inside the last two minutes. Ogolo, Ogolo with a swipe. But a counter steal by Naboa. Naboa on the move. Naboa says, I'll step on the brakes first. We don't need to rush. We're on top by four points. Gutak to Dixon. Wide open lane. Edward Dixon will Edward score. Dixon. Edward Dixon is really good in moving off the ball. Lalo na, he manages to recognize those cuts, those easy dives. Talagang andali lang sa kanya ng basketball eh. Meantime, here's Alban. Alcoriza for three. And it will be last touch on... We're still deciding here. Coach Jericho Dinier and the Chiefs down by six points with a minute and 25 remaining in the fourth quarter. So our officials will take a look at the monitor 
to determine for sure who will get possession with one minute and 25 remaining in the ball game. That was a good shot, a much needed three. That was the second uh, that was attempt on that. That was after Alcorisa made a three. That was an air ball. And then, uh, inaalam ng ating officials, sino huling nakahawa uh, ng ball at it. Those are, that's our officiating crew. Number 33 is Darius Makashar. Number 16 is our lead official, Dan Marabe. And number 49 is Oliver Atkins. Was it Ongolo Ongolo or was it Justin Guta? That is the question right now. Both players were trying to grab the ball. Galing sa likod si Justin Guta, pero mas hindi kasi Ongolo Ongolo sa harap. That's why it's quite confusing kung sino last touch. Which is why it's taking some time for, for our officiating crew to review that play. Because it's it's uh, it's really close. So they pa kasi sila na reach for the ball. Eh. That's why it's parang from a different angle you wouldn't know the si na talaga yung last touch. I mean you might even say parang sabay nila na kawata yung ball. Eh. That's why uh, it took some time, and so we use the possession arrow. The possession arrow is pointing towards the CSB Blazers. Blazers hold on to this uh, six-point lead. Pastoran being bothered by Ian Alban in the backcourt. Pastoran on the move and Pastoran is fouled. Ariliano Chief showing some full court press in the last two minutes of the ball game. You see coming from behind Tatrapa, still on Ariliano Chief. Although for that kick out, there was a foul. The foul was against Ian Alban, his second personal. Aruna to Gutang. 12 to shoot. Justin Gutang. Oh, nice wipe by Alcoriza. Alban to Alcoriza. Alcoriza needs help. Oh, throws the ball away. Yaki Aruna has it. That's what happens when the Blazers are smothering the Arellano Chiefs. Nahihirapan sila humanap ng pasa. Pastoran. Hesitation. Leaner. No. Santos with the rebound. Alban on the move. Alban steps on the gas. Alban bothered by Naboa. And Haruna secures the rebound with 36 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. And a foul given up by Levy De La Cruz in the backcourt to stop the clock. See, both teams are penalty already in the last 35 seconds of the ball game. Here's that drive by Ian Alban. And Naboa doing just enough to bother that shot. So long as it's contested and he even begin your open lane for the fast break, you did your job already. Two free throws. Get the, or rather, Cranial Viloria and the Chiefs. A tough situation here. While Unique Naboa and the Blazers are looking good with 35 seconds remaining. Coach T. Waitang could be looking at win number five. If they hold on to this lead. Two for two, para kay Unique Naboa. It is now 70-62 in favor of the CSP Blazers. We'll be back with 35 seconds remaining in the game. Uh, back with us, uh, Dito's uh, Phil Oil Flying V Center in San Juan. Well, the, the fans who are smiling, probably the CSP fans, pero masaya hindi kasi mga Arellano fans eh. <laughs> Meron din dito, nag-aabak na rin sa ating uh, second game, JRU versus uh, EAC. And fans of all ages <laughs> are happy to be part of the NCAA oh. on SNA. 
<laughs> lot of cute babies in this game. And let's go back to uh, action on the court. With 30 seconds to go, it looks like the CSB Blazers are on their way to win number five, which will then help them surpass their total wins from last season. Last season, they finished with four wins. They are 15 seconds away from their fifth win. So that's a milestone for uh, for the Blazers. Especially during the preseason, I think the coach T.Y. reiterated the fact that they, they are a rebuilding team. And up to now, they really showed that they were able to build the confidence of those players, especially this season. A unique Naboa, one of those steady players in the fourth and final quarter. Now, kahit nagahabol yung Arellano Chiefs, even when the action was going back and forth, uh, the Blazers uh, pushing the right buttons here in the fourth quarter. This unique Naboa, even if he has six points, he really makes his presence felt by being aggressive and getting those easy free throws. So kahit the intangibles, he dies for loose balls and securing this win for the Blazers. And the Blazers will hang on to this eight-point win. 70-62, Coach T. Waitang. And the Blazers go up to 5-3 and three in the team standings, beating the uh, Arellano Chiefs. T. Waitang's mission is to change the culture, to change the mindset and they're doing that so far in this tournament. Yes, I'm sure Coach T.Y. is trying to influence the team on the winning culture and trying to change the losing habits from the previous seasons. And kita naman na yung confidence of players very glaring, not just Justin Gutang, but all of the players. You see the final score, the Blazers win 70-62 over the Arellano Chiefs. Uh, the Chiefs will slide down to three and four in the team uh, in the team standings nevertheless uh, despite this result these two teams are still considered uh, contenders for a final four spot our cheddar for pgm the scorer of the game is justin butang justin butang regardless if he has uh, he was foul trouble at the start of the game he had 15 points very efficient six out of ten from the field and not only his scoring he really led his team down the stretch by taking those drives and making sure that they secure this win. Roxanne Montealegre is with our scorer of the game, Justin Guta. Congratulations, Justin, to you and your team. When you first met you, you said that you are Mr. All Around, right? How did you own that in this game? Um, I guess just because when coach in the beginning of the, the year, he kind of said there weren't any positions. Uh, anyone can play any position, so that, that's where I, I was like, I'll play, I'll be all around position then. <laughs> all right, and uh, you can see that. Okay, hold on. You can tell me later, later on if you have one more question for your coaching or staff are all very detail oriented. How do you keep up with that? Sorry. <laughs> you're... Yeah, your your coaching uh, team are very detail oriented. They're all uh, Coach Charles. Lots of that demand demands and you. How did you stay focused in the game, and how will you be able to prepare for your next one against Perpetual Help? We're just trying to practice, uh, stay on the script, uh, do everything the coach says, work on it in practice, and <laughs> and uh, coach tells us to push each other in practice and. Eventually, it'll come out on the court, so that's how kind of our... Okay, what's your message for your fans, for your supporters, for the whole um, CSB community? I want to thank the, the Animo Benil community, uh, everyone at school for watching us, supporting us, and all our fans. And I want to also thank my family. Uh, I'll see them soon, and uh, my girlfriend. Wow. Yeah. Huh? Nothing. Later. Let's save that for later. <laughs> Congratulations again, Justin. Nico? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Roxanne. Ang hirap ng mga tanong ni Roxanne. Eh. <laughs> Mas nahirapan pa si Justin doon sa mga tanong kaysa sa game. <laughs> Alright. Coming up next, the JRU Heavy Bombers will go up against the EAC Generals. These are two teams that are trying to catch up in the team standing. So they'll be very, very determined to win that game that's coming up next dito sa ating live coverage 
of the NCAA. Moments ago, uh, Nanalo ang College of St. Benilde over Arellano University, 70-62 behind the big effort of Justin Gutang. Uh, once again, we thank you for joining us on behalf of uh, Roxanne Monte Alegre, my partner, the Tower of Power, Danica Jose. I'm Miko Alili saying thank you for watching the NCAA here on SNA.